Mike, obviously it was uneven in San Francisco in those games, um, but I mean, you're a guy with 87 games of regular season experience. You know that there's going to be those ups and downs. Still, mm -hmm. how good did it feel to have this moment in the first game in Vegas to maybe set a tone? It was good. Um, you know, I think the uh, San Francisco trip really got us an uh, opportunity to come together. Um, offensively, we, we've been clicking a little bit, but especially defensively. I think you guys could see, um, starting with H and Marcus, uh, Javante getting into the ball, um, really made them struggle getting into their offense. And um, I felt like that was a real real key component to, to the win today, for sure. And you and just getting on track a little bit and just showing what you've shown in a bunch of games before. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it was good to finally knock the lid off. Um, that was up there in, in San Francisco, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, no, it was good. Um, I thought we did a good job getting into our offense. Um, you know, finding good shots for everybody um, and then getting back on defense and really setting the tone down there. Um, that led to a lot of good things for us. So it was, it was definitely a positive outing for sure. Do you view that as kind of your role on the team as somebody that is more veteran, kind of getting the team into, you know, your offensive sets and your defensive sets? Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, being, a, being one of the older guys in the locker room, um, stepping into a leadership role has been great. Um, we have a great locker room full of, full of guys who are willing and eager to learn. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm excited to be able to share my knowledge and my experience that I've had. Um, in the league, and you know, I, I remember it was just like it wasn't too long ago where I was in their seat, um, first summer league. Um, you know, really getting getting the jitters out, and um, just remembering to have fun with the whole thing. You know what I mean? Um, that's something I've really stressed with these guys, and you know, really just trying to enjoy the whole process. And um, it has been a, it has been a good experience uh, stepping into a leadership role for sure. You sense like the coaching staff is kind of leaning on you for that kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that was one of the key things that they told me coming in. Um, you know, be a leader, use your voice. Um, your voice is important to these guys. Um, and it's funny being in like that middle ground. I'm not really an older guy, um, but I'm, I'm not a rookie anymore either, right? I, I got a few years in my, under my belt, so um, he's he's not wrong. You know, guy, when I talk, guys listen, um, and they're they're eager to hear what we have to say, um, knowing that you know they're coming into a, a time where where learning is important and learning on the fly is important. Um, so I, it's good to be able to share that experience with them and really help them out a little bit. Haywood's game isn't flashy, but Malik often says that he helps the offense function. What are the small things he does and he keeps the offense moving? H makes it go, man. Um, you know, he's got all the intangibles. Um, you know, he reminds me of Tuck, like we had last year, playing that role. Um, and he, he really embraces that. You know what I mean? Um, he sets good screens and gets under the defense. Um, he plays defense with an aggression, um, almost unlike anybody else on the court. Um, there, there's a lot of things that he does that, you know, they don't show up on the stat sheet, um, but they, they really lead to wins. It's winning basketball, and that's the most important thing. You know, that's what everybody wants to see. Um, I know that's what our coaches want to see. And, uh, you know, I, I know that's what he's going to continue to bring to the group. Uh, and he's excited to bring that, and, and we love it from him. Thanks, Mike. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thank Mike. you. Thank you, guys.